Mr. Ian Scott. Now Bautista from Spain, her competition beginning with the ball. A draw is made for the order of performance and the order in which the gymnasts use each piece of apparatus. So they don't all start on the same piece, all four pieces being used in each round. Ana Bautista, the Spanish champion, 17 years old. It's the Eastern Europeans who really dominate this sport, the Bulgarians and the Russians, but Spain, the top Western European nation, and Ana Bautista, the top Western European gymnast. things is a balanced exercise it mustn't be all right-handed or all left-handed and Anna Bautista getting through that routine very cleanly good score for her 9.7 dropping just 0.3 a tremendous start for her Natalia Szymkiewicz from Poland Her competition starting on the hoop. A lot of the gymnasts think this is the best piece of apparatus to start on. The pace of the exercise, not uh, too great. The apparatus relatively easy to control. That hand apparatus must keep moving all the time. Should never be still. It's very important that she initiates those throws from both hands and catches the hoop in a different way each time. And then there are difficulty points for the various skills that she performs while the hoop is in the air. the more moves in combination the more difficult clean exercise not really too many very difficult elements in there there's the big throw look how high it goes Shimkevich scoring 9.55 a nice clean catch there on the end of that double forward roll Now one of the favorites for this Europa Cup, Adriana Dunavska from Bulgaria, starts her competition with the ball. 20 years old, took the silver in the overall competition in the Olympics. took the silver medal as well in the last World Championships on home soil in Varna in Bulgaria in September 1987. The Bulgarians then at the last World Championships filled the top three places, keeping their great rivals, the Russians, out of the medals altogether. that uh, Dunavska 
rolling, twisting. She's not actually allowed to somersault. In fact, she's not allowed to do any acrobatics that you would see in artistic gymnastics. Totally different approach to the apparatus. Very dramatic, but piling a lot of moves there. And beautiful artistic expression, 9.85 for, 9 for Adriana Dinavska. Next gymnast, Julia Becheva, with the band, and ready holds it. Oksana Skaldina. Julia Baicheva from Bulgaria. Dunaska's teammate, just 17 years old, the junior Vulcan champion. The Bulgarians rebuilding their team. They've had an iron grip on this uh, sport for so long, but lost it at the Olympic Games where the Russians took gold. First look at the ribbon. And this a very fast tempo for a, a ribbon routine. Two rolls there to finish with beautifully caught. The Bulgarian coaches pleased with that. They've got great hopes for her, and she started with a 9.8. Little Oksana Skaldina from the Soviet Union. Again, a new face coming into the Soviet team. 17 years old, second in the Russian Championships. there on the foot. It's so difficult to keep the tension of that rope going. You can get yourself in an awful tangle. And lovely variety there, using her feet extremely cleverly. And 
a super exercise from Oksana Skaldina. Really enjoying it too. Sometimes the Russians very po-faced, but Skaldina there, starting with 9.45. Marian Rota from West Germany with the hoop. same fluency of movement that the Eastern Europeans get. A few pirouettes there while the hoop was in the air. Throw from under the leg and then the forward roll before the rematch. And the leg catch to finish with. It was all a little bit right-handed, though. Very nice, but not quite the difficulty. 9.65. Wollen wir uns nun auf die Ballübung von Alexandra Timoshenko und now Alexandra Timoshenko from the USSR. A real battle expected to be between this gymnast and. Adriana Dunavska from Bulgaria starts her competition, as you can see, with the ball. Third in the 1988 Olympic Games. And the new Russian champion. immediately see how difficult the catches are that she makes. None of them just simple catches, always with the hands behind the head or inverted. Exercise from Timoshenko. You really won't see anything much more expressive than that. The ball really appeared to be a part of her body, and she worked exquisitely to the music. The split leap, then the forward roll, and then the catch and immediately rolled out. 9.95 for her. She takes the lead. Joanna Budak from Poland, starting her competition with the ribbon. And you can see from that knee brace that uh, it's a sport where you do get injuries. The movement's so beautiful, the whole thing so artistic that some people think it doesn't require particularly great gymnastic skills. I can assure you it does.
incredible amount of work goes into body preparation. All these girls, enormously supple. control on those throws. The catch had to be perfect. began her competition with the ball, scored 9.7. Top Western European gymnast at the moment. And her second piece of apparatus, the ribbon. Spanish girl working to classical guitar. Gymnasts can work to any piece of music, providing it's played by just one instrument. Again, a lovely clean routine from Bautista and a lot of very difficult transitions there during her throws. They're throwing the ribbon. Clean recatch so she can throw it straight away again and go into those moves. 9.8, her second round score. Keeps herself up there in contention for a medal, certainly. Natalia Szymkiewicz from Poland. Nine point five five for her hoop routine in the first round. the Polish champion, one of the youngest gymnasts here, still only 15. Terrific pace, but she wasn't really doing too much with that ball in between the throws. But a lot of moves in there, and the judges giving her credit for that. 9.7 her score. Now Adriana Dunavska. 
the most experienced gymnast here, certainly. She had a twin sister who also used to compete in the Bulgarian team. Went from individual competition into the team event and has now given the sport up totally. But Adriana, at 20 years old, still one of the top Bulgarians. <coughs> second in the last World Championships and also won the silver in the Seoul Olympics. control there and never once losing the artistic element of the routine lovely the roll and then the spin and again a beautiful exercise from her 9.85 her score, the same as she got in the first round. The other Bulgarian girl, Julia Baicheva, 17 years old. Very unusual catch there. Totally in control. Precise as you'd expect from a ballet dancer. Little mistake there on the recatch, just lost the tension on the rope. The latest in a long line of really world-class Bulgarian rhythmic gymnasts. 9.7 her score. Look at that. Had to be exactly right as it was. Now the young Russian, another 17-year-old, Oksana Skaldina.
variation. Initiating throws with her feet, both hands. And some tremendous talent here. Scaldina scoring 9.85, putting in her challenge. Marianne Rota from West Germany just clears the mat, getting rid of some little bits of uh, debris that have found their way on there. Her approach not nearly as dramatic as the Bulgarians and the Russians with the ball. <laughs> Nevertheless, a skillful exercise. Just one little fluff on one of the catches, but it wasn't much. And there's a score, 9.7. Next, Alexandra Timoshenko with the band. The leader after the first round, Alexandra Timoshenko from the Soviet Union. She scored 9.95 for her ball exercise. There's a very anxious coach, desperately wanting her to steal the high ground before the World Championships by taking this competition away from the Bulgarians. Now her ribbon exercise. <laughs> Music may not be classical, but Timoshenko really is a classical stylist in this sport. Very reminiscent of Ignatova and Georgieva, the two great Bulgarians. Three moves in there before the recatch. Artistic gymnastics, some of the moves rated A difficulty, some B and some C. And extra marks given for original combinations. On that, another tremendous exercise from Timoshenko. Another 9.95. Beginning to steal away there at the head of this very talented field. Joanna Bodak from Poland. She scored 9.3 for her ribbon exercise in the first round. That put her in eighth position.
hesitancy about that catch. He really did have to wait for it and then stretch for it. better exercise than her ribbon and she gets the score for it 9.75 so welcome back the third round of this competition Anna Bautista in joint third place at the moment certainly the top Western European gymnast with the rope and you can see the tension showing on her coach there the Spaniards not really one of the top Western European nations even in artistic gymnastics but they've really worked on this sport they've brought in Bulgarian coaches have a tremendous development program and it's paying off unusual catch there she made it cleanly exercise 9.8 for the ribbon tying with Julia Vaicheva of Bulgaria another lovely exercise from her a little smile says to herself well I don't think that could have gone much better and her score 9.8 she's really standing up to the pressure and sticking in there going for a medal The Bulgarian coach to Adriana Dunavska. Her rope exercise. She's now point two behind the leader, Alexandra Timoshenko from the Soviet Union. Again going for something very dramatic with her music, working to the drums. Look at the number of movements she gets in with that rope. It's never still. The transition's smooth and very quick. Gymnasts now putting so many combinations into their exercises. And this is the piece where Adriana Dinavska has to make a move. She's joint world champion on this piece of apparatus, the rope with the other great Bulgarian, Bianca Panova, who is now retired. And if she's going to pull back on Timoshenko, she really must make a move with this piece. Another beautiful exercise from her. 9.85, she still can't get up into the 9.9s. Julia Vaicheva from Bulgaria, the 17-year-old. A lot of hopes for the future in Bulgarian sporting rhythmic gymnastics with this girl. She's got a battle on, though, for third place at the moment with Anna Bautista from Spain. Scored 9.7 for her ball exercise, 9.8 for ribbon. And now moves on to the hoop. Lovely throw from behind the back and then the forward roll and recatch. Losing control of it there very definitely though, 
at least point one away. for Baicheva certainly keeps her up in the hunt for a medal. And to her third piece of apparatus, the ball in a very striking leotard, Oksana Skaldina from the Soviet Union and more agony for the Soviet coach. confidence very difficult catches and throws it's not just doing them it's making them look confident and artistic and all the time the gymnast must show off rolls spins twirls jumps but acrobatics not allowed And this exercise, something special from Scaldina. I would think this very much her favorite piece of apparatus. <laughs> Superb stuff from her. 9.9 .9 she scored. And the Soviet coach not impressed. I think she thought that might have been worth more. A lot of emotion during the exercise, but barely any as her gymnast comes back off the podium. Marianne Rota from West Germany. She's in fifth position. That's a good placing for her. Nine point six five for her hoop exercise, nine point seven for the ball. Now the ribbon. first time this year and also won the rope and hoop finals second in the ball and ribbon
9.7 for Marion Rota. But this is the lady in charge, Alexandra Timoshenko. Two 9.95s already. A point two lead over Adriana Dunevska from Bulgaria. But this is the exercise where if anything is going to go wrong, it probably will. The rope with the clubs not being used in this competition, the most difficult piece of hand apparatus to control. body conditioning, complete change of tempo, started with a very fast, furious pace and then goes into a slower, more dramatic phase.